and train number eight is arriving in Bolton once more. Our passenger train line system is working. We are starting now to make some profit there with the passenger trains as well. So just like with the cargo, it takes a bit of time to fully make profit out of these lines. So, you know, so it has to build up a momentum. And welcome back to Transport Fever 2 um, in this very exciting episode, because in this episode, we're not going to focus on food for the first time, right? So my food production is working at the moment. It is growing. It probably will need some more customers though. So those cities that we have right now will not be enough. So Nelson, Rockdale, we could um, increase the transportation over there. But other than that, we do need another city to increase the shipment um parameter here to get to the next level for the food processing plant but well we are going to take our time with that i want to focus on a few other cities now so as we can see for example we got lithium here we got minster here um also rockdale and down here we got some other cities as well and i want other cities to grow now as well because those cities they're growing now right nelson has plus 50 percent um, Rockdale has plus 100% even because of the food transport and the passenger transport. Um, Bolton, I think, yeah, also 100. Minster has 100. So they're all growing really quickly. So those will be huge cities at some point. Now, I also want to grow, yeah, for example, Blackpool. And in order to achieve that, um, we could deliver resources. But I actually want to start with having smaller public transportation systems in all of these other cities that we have, right? And we got a lot of cities. I haven't even shown the full extent of this map here. We got some beautiful locations, by the way. We got a beautiful mountain road up here, for example. Look at that. That is absolutely fantastic. Um, having a road here, having a, a bus transportation system here, why not? I mean, it's absolutely fabulous having something here, for example. It would be a nice touristic attraction, I think. And um, we also have Sleepy Hollow here. A nice little town in the middle of mountains, totally surrounded by mountains. So there are lots of beautiful cities on this map, lots of beautiful locations. And of course, we want to focus a bit on the other ones now. So this, I call it just the northern side of the map, is growing now. So let's focus a bit on the other things. For example, speaking of Sleepy Hollow. In Sleepy Hollow, what we have, as we can see, we got the city. It needs food and fuel. That is perfect because food we already produce quite a lot of. So we might just have then a, well, plain transportation system to Sleepy Hollow for food later. And fuel, look at that. We do have a fuel refinery close by. So it's also one of the few locations where we have a final um, production line coming into the city or close to a city. We do have some oil here. We do have a refinery here. So we could just deliver the oil to the refinery and then to the fuel refinery and from here to Sleepy Hollow. Why not? It makes sense to have it here, right? So let's start with that. First of all, the refinery. That's going to be a tricky one because I never touched refineries so far and I don't know if that is going to be profitable. First of all, we do need a well, a train, obviously. We do have another city here, so that is perfect because we can have a train system here that can be used then for the oil and for the passengers to Sleepy Hollow, right? So we do have two things here coming together already. So what I want to start with right away is having a cargo station. We can make, once again, this cargo station to something else then later as well if we want to, but this is going to be just fine here. Having then the connection to the oil refinery right away. That is that. What we need next is now the question, do we want to deliver the oil by trucks or by train? This one here, definitely by train. This is too far away. I don't want to have um, this distance here with trucks or anything like that. So we might just have a yeah cargo station here. And there it is. Very close to these huge mountains. And then we all, well, all we actually need is a track system going from here. By the way, we only have standard tracks. What we've unlocked now as well um, is then, or soon, is going to be a, a electrical tracks. So we need to look out for that. We need to upgrade our tracks then once we use the electrical um, locomotives, for example. Now, in this case here, as we can see, we have the tracks from this oil refinery or oil processing would be going into that like this, right? But I want to, I don't want to have it on this track here because this track we are using for other things then. So let's just expand this train station here because I know we're going to have lots of tracks going through this. And let's also just have a platform here right away as well. 
So in the middle we can have then a train for example that delivers the fuel and on the track number one or in the track number three we could have then passenger passenger train line going through that, right? So I want to keep a bit of space here as well and I don't want to remodel the whole thing later than anyway. Plus we do have money. At the moment we do have money though this is going to be quite the investment again. And there we have the connection and thus we have already connected it. Now that is another question here. Do we want to have trucks here? I think so. Let's have a truck system here. So what we need is the truck station once again. We could also have the truck unload stop. But the truck, truck unload stop I think is way more inefficient in my opinion. And since, oh, this one doesn't need fuel, I see that now. Ah, uh, it's not going to be the biggest fuel production here because there's only one city that needs fuel. The other ones we probably will have to deliver by plane then later. Planes are extremely efficient once they can carry more stuff. Right now we haven't even unlocked them, so in that case it's still going to take a while. Some of you suggested I should go with the truck unload stop. Um, it's a small truck stop to unload cargo can be placed on the sidewalk, does not allow for loading cargo. So we could actually do this here. It's perfectly fine to have this one here. Um, so the there we have the truck station though. So this is where the oil is going to be loaded. And let's have it on the other side because this one here will probably grow then at some point. And there we have it, right? Now I just need to check real quick if we can actually purchase trucks that can deliver oil. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. Let's have ourselves a depot here and let's just see if we can purchase something. This can deliver all cargo. All cargo, right? So it's all cargo, right? Even oil then most likely. So that should be fine. Right, so that is the first one, that is the other one, and now we can start with it. We already have train truck here, so I'm going to have a new line being called truck oil. There we have the first one, and then we also will need a train. Now for the train, I do need another train depot, and let's just finish this line here right away, right? So we do have the refinery, this will need another cargo station this will be a cargo terminal station right here because I don't think there's anything else we would need here right nope there is no there is no connection now what's, what's the case here let's have a look at that I think we still need a street then or a smaller path ah this is dirty this is not good. Let's get rid of that again. Get a bit of money back. Doesn't matter that much. Let's have a normal one then. We might even have the normal one which is better anyway because we might then have later a train line going through the mountain to Harrogate. Right, Harrogate by the way has the best location ever. Look at that. This city is totally engulfed with mountains. Surrounded by mountains. It will not be growing that much. Right, so let's build it here. There we have it. And for Sleepy Hollow, I will probably have another a passenger station then somewhere here, right? So once again, we will need to get rid of buildings. Let's just look at that, how much ex or how expensive it is. We might just have it then right here in the center where there's still a bit of room left or here on the outside. Though outside is always a bit of a problem. Nah, it doesn't matter for now. For now, I want to finish that. Let's have the tracks. So the tracks are now going away from here. And the cool thing is then once I have a station, I can merge it with that track system. Oh, right. I do have a problem here right now because as we can see, this needs to go down. Alright, after a bit of time I built the track and you will probably hate me for that, but just look at how it looks. The thing is, I cannot build a track down here for no for, for reasons totally unknown to me. I cannot put it down there, right? Even though it would work, I cannot uh, put the elevation down. Um, no matter what I do, no matter in what direction I do it, the only way of building this track here is by having a serpentine style going down here. So just like, most likely in real life as well, 
um, that's the only real solution that I found. Otherwise, he would just build huge bridges or huge tunnels if I come from the other side, but I cannot put a direct elevation on it. So we do have kind of like this serpentine style here. Um, something I like anyway, it does look good, but still it's not very efficient. Other than that, for now it's fine. Probably gets better later than perhaps when we have electrification and much stronger locomotives, I don't know. Something along the lines. Now we do have everything ready here. The only thing that we still need is, well, a depot. And for the train depot, um, I'm probably going to have it right here beside the copper mine, I think it is. And because I'm going to have it here to have a direct connection with all the other you know, trains and tracks and stuff like that. Plus, there's nothing going to be built here anyway. Um, in that case, we can just have it here, right? So there we have the first one. And this is also then... Or actually, we could just have a connection in here. This works even better. Right, so now we have the connection and we have a tra or train depot. Now we also still need to create the lines. So we have another oil line here. Or this is actually the first one, train um, oil one. We're probably going to have another one then here as well. And I will also need a new line going from down here from Horseforth to Sleepy Hollow. And in, this is going to be train um, refueled ore. Right, so it's the, it's the first thing. And then fuel is coming out of this one here. So here we still need trucks then as well. Um, but let's just see. We need to finish this, of course, but because otherwise there would be no demand then for the fuel refinery and thus it wouldn't produce much. Down here, as I can see, we already have the buildings that demand it. We could have another truck unload stop. So let's just do that. And as we can see, yeah, there's lots of fuel required. There we might just have a stop for all those buildings here. Problem with that is, once again, it goes right through the whole town. So in that case, I cannot do anything else here right now. I need to have it close to those buildings there. And let's just have it down here and they can turn around then, right? Yes, right in the middle of the whole thing. And we do need a truck station here with the fuel refinery. And once again, we do need another road depot. I already have one, but um, it's too far away. So in this case, let's have a road depot here. Re and the cool thing here about this one, I can use it then for the buses as well. Because of course, Sleepy Hollow will also get a bus system soon. And there we have it. And now I just need to create a new line that goes from the fuel refinery into Sleepy Hollow itself. And this is going to be called Truck Fuel. Right, and what I can see here is, of course, I need to have a connection. I always have a connection, a hyphen. So in this case, there we have them. Now, very good. All the systems are in place. It did cost us quite a bit, I should say, but it should be working now. So let's start with the first oil that we have here. Let's purchase the vehicles. Once again, we only have this truck here at the moment. We have no other truck at the moment that could deliver something um, well, efficiently. So in that case, let's have... That might actually be too much, but let's just try it out. Um, truck, and this is truck oil. Right, and out they come. And as we can see, oh, a lot of oil is piling up right away. As I can see, there is a demand for it. Let's just put the other trucks there on this one as well. Truck oil, and let's actually purchase a few more here right away. Because I think there's going to be quite a demand for that. I hope the train is the same. Let's build a train. We still have only this locomotive here. Nothing I can do about it. But we have the tank car here as well. This is necessary for the oil. I don't know. Should we make it so big right away? It might be not profitable. Let's just try it. And then we have the train oil coming out now. Right. Let's just hope that there is a lot of oil also piling up now for this line here. The same with the trucks. Because as we can see, there's a lot... Are you kidding me? Should we, should we just get a, a train system up here as well? This is too much for trucks to handle. This is building up tremendously. And, oh yeah, here it's not. Because this was the first line. This is the second line. This will be not profitable for now. There's barely any oil coming up. I Up to this point, I really don't 
quite understand the system why that's the case here. So in this case, this one barely produces any oil and this is producing so much that a thousand trucks couldn't handle that, right? So even though they don't have anything, well, everything is it's the same for them, basically. Um, most likely it's because this is the first line here that is activated. We'll just see. We'll just see about that. I do need another train now. And this train then will be for the refueled oil. So the refined oil. Once again, I do need a train. Oh, I already have one. That's right. With 8 million. Let's reduce that here a bit. Um, 7 million. And this is going to be on the train for... I don't know what I wrote down here. Refueled or... Doesn't make any sense, right? That is just me not being a native speaker and talking while doing all these things. Let's just find it once again. There it is. It's of course refined oil. But I hope you had a good laugh with this. <laughs> right, so as we can see, the first oil is actually in here already for the first haul. That is fine. So now we do have actually a customer for this refinery, so I hope that there is more oil coming now. Otherwise, we will have to delete the truck line here because the trains are more important to me. But as we can see, it's piling up now quicker, right? So in that case, we do have now the oil that is being refined then, and it's being brought up here now to the Badworth fuel refinery. I have no idea why it's called Badworth fuel refinery. It's close to Sleepy Hollow. Um, and let's have now the buses here, or the trucks here. Let's start with those. And this is going to be truck fuel. Right, there we also got the first ones coming out now. And that means that we finally have now a customer for this fuel refinery here. So the warm fuel that is being produced now <laughs> can actually be delivered to Sleepy Hollow. Hopefully, this will boost the rest. As we can see, 28, that's still not much. It's still a huge loss for this train, but I'm pretty confident that this is getting better. And as we can see, oh yes, there's lots of oil coming now. the crude oil is being delivered to this beautiful refinery here which is only going to grow hopefully it actually doesn't have enough crude oil at the moment so yeah a bit more please well this one here is this is insane something is not right here and that a train is coming once again with way more oil now that it can have yeah beautiful so this will actually be quite full, this train here, sooner or later. And look at that. I mean, it's a beautiful game. Look at how far we can see into the mountains there. Everything coming together. Beautiful. With the clouds playing around. Absolutely beautiful. And in that case, Sleepy Hollow gets the fuel it needs now. What it needs still is a public transportation system. So in that case, we might just go with the trams. Can we have trams already? We should be having trams. There it is. We might... Hmm. Sleepy Hollow though, is it looking good here? Nah, it's not looking good for tram system yet. Let's have buses for now. We can have a tram system later then. I'm, I absolutely love trams. And in that case, way more than buses. But for now, buses are mo more profitable since the cities are not that big yet. Um, once they grow, of course, we might just have it then. So let's just have a look around where we could have something. There people are working, so it's it might be a good idea to start with the bus system here going then into the city having many stops is important and i think that's it for now oh there is a un unload station right so let's have another station then here for the bus line itself and then oh as we can see new buildings are already popping up and now we just need a new line going for the buses. So there we have it. Alexander Road. Oh, there's lots of stuff happening in Sleepy Hollow already. And then back to the Mill Road. And this is Bus Sleepy Hollow. Righto. And let's just purchase... I think four will be quite enough. We do have now those post buses or the Gaganau. The Gaganau was used one of the first buses in the Russian Empire. It was manufactured in Germany and this one here is the ET-13 was widely used engine powered bus built in Austria. 
And I'm from Austria, so we might just go... Oh no, it's way weaker. Let's go with the Gaggenau then. Let's build... Oh, they're quite expensive. Let's go with three for now. And this is going to be Buzz Sleepy Hollow. And out they come. Beautiful buses, by the way. Some real buses now. You can actually go up there to the deck. And as you can hear, they're quite loud and dirty sounding and stuff like that. So not the most practical way, actually. There's actually someone sitting up here now. I mean, beautiful, right? If the weather is good, I would totally sit up there and just enjoy getting bust around. So Sleepy Hollow, as we can see, plus 20%. That's because the first fuel is coming in and we're probably getting another boost here now with the public transportation coming up. Oh yes, and there's lots of fuel here already waiting, so we might just have, let's say, two additional ones for the truck fuel. Because Sleepy Hollow needs more fuel, we are producing it. That is fine, the train is making some profit now, finally. Very good to see. How's this train looking? Has lots of crude oil now, very good. So here, production kicks up now as well. So this should be making some profit then as well. Yeah, it does. Not that much yet. Hopefully it gets better still. And as we can see, there's lots of oil now waiting. So this is starting to turn into something good here. Something profitable, I hope so. And thus, Sleepy Hollow has been connected now as well. What we can still do... I do have a bus depot down here. So I just would like to have a smaller public transportation here in Horseforth as well. Since in that case, um, I want the city here to grow as well, of course. The bigger the cities are at some point, the better it is. Right, oh, and we just need a line in here in Horse Forth. This is quite a name. And back to London. It's really a small bus, but it's a working bus one then. And this is a bus in. What's the name again of this strange thing here? Horse Forth, it was, right? Yeah. Alright, so there we have another bus line, but public transportation. Because the public transportation is easy to set up, it's not really expensive and gives a nice boost early on for these smaller villages. Right, because they need to grow, otherwise they wouldn't grow really. They have a plus 10% that never going to happen, that they really grow into something big. And the public transportation is going to help with that a bit, as long as I cannot deliver resources there. Like for this here example, Construction materials and tools. Tools is really complex. It's a big production chain that we cannot have at this moment. Um, plus, it's not close enough. Um, and construction materials, there is one, right? But there we have Ripon as well and the Armoth. So they all need construction materials. Um, so this is going to take a while before I can deliver anything here. But as we can see, people are waiting already. And we should be getting a nice boost then for the public transportation there as well. Let me just check Sleepy Hollow once again. As we can see, it's now coming up as well here, and we have a growth of 50%, though the, the noise pollution is quite high as well. That's because we have the trucks going through the town there, quite a lot of them too. And there is now a train coming in with a... Oh, it's full of oil already. 1,400,000 for one haul. That's quite big. And thus it's producing now again. But of course we'll need quite some long trains on this line. Yeah, and as we can see, Sleepy Hollow is already growing because it gets the fuel and some basic public transportation. Lots of buildings are coming up and that also means that we will need to focus on a train station here soon, most likely in here, before bigger and bigger buildings are popping up. I just love how these cities then start to grow and trust me, they're going to be really, really big. Stay tuned.